Today we are going to talk about what's Microsoft Loop, a beginner's guide. So uh, first I want to introduce myself. I'm Paul Keizers. I'm a Microsoft MVP in the Office 365 space and I'm owner of kbworks.au. Loop is like a file which is really fluid. It's so fluid I sometimes think, okay, uh, why do we need other apps? Except Excel, of course. It's really nice. Uh, so let's get into uh, Loop. First I go to Microsoft 365 and then I type in the bar at the top loop for example and here you see the basic uh, loop space you come into so this is your welcome screen and it basically gives you an overview of uh, your workspaces workspaces are items where you can collaborate with more than just you so you can invite people into the workspace and work uh, together on a project uh, so in this case getting started which comes along with your microsoft install it will basically tell you the basics about uh, how to use microsoft loop let's go to the menu for uh, for a bit uh, at the top we see uh, Microsoft Loop. If you click on this, you always go back to the, uh, to the main page where you see your workspaces. Here you see your recent items, IDs. So for example, you can have your own IDs and don't worry, uh, they are maybe not yet ready to share. For example, I have an elevator pitch here. Uh, it's just a template. That's also good to know. So let's just create a new ID. And here you see that we have templates we can choose from. Uh, so I can say, okay, I want a team's decision and it will load this and it's uh, basically empty now, uh, but I can add people in here. And um, one thing that's really important as well is for example, when I remove this, uh, I and I come back like a few days later and uh, think who has removed this uh, you can do this by going to the three dots at the back and we have a version history here so I can uh, just go to restore and confirm and it will restore the version and it's back now um, because this is uh, an id i can add it to the work uh, to a workspace so i can add it to a demo for example and now it's in a workspace where it's shared with multiple people of course you can share it also from here uh, by um, uh, the loop component or the page link uh, or you can copy uh, it as a loop component. I will come back to that uh, soon. Uh, and I can see the shared locations. So in this case, it will show you the location. Now, if uh, we go back to this page uh, and I will create a new page, um, we can you can see that we can add a cover add an icon uh, we can add a uh, text test loop for example and then when we start writing we can say okay insert and uh, as you can see it will directly pop up uh, some information so you can uh, draft page content you can summarize a page uh, you have multiple items you can directly insert um, and the nice thing it's really fluid so for example um, when I do a draft page content um, ask uh, Copilot to draft a, can you draft something about loop so we can directly use Copilot in here. Uh, you don't need to, that's, uh, that's another thing. It's putting together. If you like this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. 
and it did a little bit about uh, Copilot. Now uh, we can continue to write um, and here we can just start typing. So we can just type in there and then I can, for example, say, okay, uh, I want to have um, a Kanban board and it will directly uh, add a Kanban board. I can add cards here. So I can say um, uh, edit video and I can add worker. I can say who uh, has to do it, which date. And, so and uh, I can keep progress of it. And because he is now invited to this uh, planner, he can directly edit it as well. So that's really nice about Loop. Now, in this case, I may want to share uh, this uh, loop component. And uh, here we uh, say we can say uh, uh, if we click on the on the item, we can rewrite it with Copilot, uh, create a loop component, delete it or export it uh, through Excel. So in this case, I'm going to create a loop component. And um, show who is access people with access at this moment nobody has access uh, i can copy the component so i can go and copy let's see if that's working and go to teams for example teams.microsoft.com and here i can start uh, for example a new chat i can insert the loop component and it will directly load in this case it's to myself uh, but it will directly load and i can edit it uh, directly the nice thing about loop is that for example when you post it you can still make edits so here you can still edit it this overcomes a lot of chatting a lot of emailing because you can directly do it uh, do it within the same component the same goes if I go to outlook.office.com, uh, I can uh, send a new email. Here I can paste the link and let's see if it's working. Yes, and uh, here I can add somebody and they can directly edit from within the email. So this is really nice uh, because you don't uh, need to send it up and down just one mail with the component and directly you have your uh, your item um, now uh, if i go back to my uh, loop as this is still an uh, id i want to go to the uh, workspace but how do you get into the workspace well there's only one one way to do that uh, that's either by going to this uh, and here you can select the page or you can click on the loop icon and if you click on the loop icon you come into this uh, area where you have your uh, workspaces ids and i'm just going to go to demo because what you can also do and you directly see it already you can import a planner yes a planner a planner from microsoft teams uh, or uh, office 365 group you can directly add it into your uh, loop uh, items and edit it directly in here so if you are busy with a project then this is a real nice scenario where you are centralized uh, using Microsoft Loop. Um, next to it, I will show you the mobile app. So here we are in the mobile application. And uh, as you can see, we have the loop component and I'm going to uh, click on it. So here you see at the top, uh, you see your name, home, you see your recent uh, loop components, your IDs, workspaces and favorites. Uh, I can go into um, uh, to a loop component, directly edit. Uh, so here's a demo. I can add uh, components here. Uh, let me see where I am. Uh, so here we can do that and we can directly say okay i want a team re retrospective 
So here you directly see it. You see at the right hand corner uh, my name, uh, my icon, uh, and I can have a recap, for example. What is this about? Uh, I can create a recap myself um, and uh, let people know, okay, what's in this uh, recap. So uh, let's go back. Now that you have seen the mobile app, it's uh, also really nice uh, to know that that's uh, happening. And I see a lot of things happening around uh, Microsoft Loop. So I'm curious, uh, are you going to use this in the future? And uh, if so, let me know in the, in the comments or do you already use it uh, within your Microsoft Teams environment? Uh, please let me know. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And if you want to see uh, another great uh, video, here it is. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time.